Okay. On to another scenario. Uh, I hope these aren't too confusing. Uh, if you go back and you listen to them, hopefully they become uh, less confusing. But anyways, here we go with uh, a new set of cards that you're going to need for this scenario. And uh, we're going to use Warrior Digressor again. Alright, keep him in your hand, okay? He's not out on the field. We're going to use Seven Tools of the Bandit again. Set that in your backfield. We're going to use Book of Moon again. Again, set that in your backfield. And we're going to use <clears throat> Mystical Space Typhoon. Keep this one in your hand, even though it's a quick play. Alright, now, your opponent has no monsters on the field, okay? You got rid of them all. But they have two back cards set, alright? One, one which is Bottomless Trap Hole. And what Bottomless Trap Hole does is when your opponent special summons, normal summons, or flip summons a monster with 1500 attack or more, it is removed from the game, which means it doesn't go to the graveyard, it goes out into no man's land, out into a special zone that doesn't involve the game anymore, really. Um, there are special cards that reach that zone and bring things back into play, but uh, there aren't very many of them, and some of them don't work with uh, the flow of decks very well, so you have to be careful when you use them. But anyways, here we go. You have an MST and you have your monster in your hand okay what you want to do is it's a 50 50 chance you want to use your MST to try and pick the correct one to destroy so that you can summon your monster safely okay let's say you pick the bottomless trap hole you destroy it it goes to the graveyard as well as your magic card you can summon your monster without having to worry because the other card is also an MST, okay? Now, reset. Say you don't choose the right one. Say you MST their face down MST. Uh, because it was set and it was a quick play, they can chain if they want to. So they can activate theirs to destroy one of your other back cards. Let's say to destroy your, I don't know, your seven tools of the bandit. Both your seven tools and your mystical space typhoon will go to the graveyard, as well as their mystical space typhoon. You'll normal summon your monster, taking a chance to hit him directly with 1700. That can that could be a game ender right there. And instead, they bottom with you. And basically, if they bottom with you, you take the card and you set it somewhere off of your play mat. Or if you have a nice big play mat like this one, you can set it down in the corner somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it will go off the play mat out into the remove from play zone. And it'll, obviously, it'll screw up your strategy. Now, here we go again. Reset. Putting the trap cards back where they belong. Alright. Take your seven tools. Set it again. Okay. Let's say you play your MST again, you destroy your opponent's MST, they chain, they destroy your seven tools again, both of, the, both of your cards would go to the graveyard, and you decide to summon your warrior again. I know, I know, I know. Why would you do that? You know, you're just going to get bottomless trap hold and removed from the game again. Well, remember what I said about quick play spell cards being the same speed as trap cards well what you do is you take your book of moon and you chain it to the bottomless trap hole and what you chain it to is of course your own monster you flip it face down so what happens is that this happens first your monsters flip face down that happens second I know it was activated first, but the way you solve a chain is you go backwards. So the last card that was activated is, I guess, technically the first card that was activated. So your monster is flipped face down. This misses its target because you're not, your monster is no longer face up. It can't be removed from the game, so you save your own monster by flipping it face down. 
Um, because you normal summoned it this turn, you're not allowed to flip summon it. Okay. Uh, there's a rule behind that. You're only allowed to change the battle position of a monster once per turn. And when you summon it, uh, unfortunately that's considered a battle position, attack mode. So you're not allowed to change it this turn. But you still have a monster on the field to defend you. And you won't take life point damage in case your opponent can summon a monster. So, it's all good. Alright, reset. One more time. Bring the warrior back to your hand. Uh, bring the MST back to your hand. And... Set seven tools of the bandit again. Alright, here we go. Uh, this time, when you play MST and you destroy their MST, they're actually going to destroy your Book of Moon. Okay, so take your Book of Moon and your Mystical Space Typhoon, MST, and send them to the graveyard. Your opponents will go as well. Now, here we go. You summon your Warrior Monster again. And again, they play their Bottomless Trap Hole. Now, you chain by activating your Counter Trap, which I said, Counter Traps are the fastest in the game much faster than normal trap cards or spell speed to uh, spell cards, the quick play spell. Okay? So you pay a thousand life points, and I know that sounds hefty, but you're about ready to do 1700 damage to them, which is 700 more damage than the life points that you're paying. Anyways, you pay 1000 life points, this, ne this gets negated, okay, negated, which means it doesn't happen, and it's destroyed. And then this goes to your graveyard. And there's a clear field, nothing to interrupt you. And so you attack directly. And then you do a thousand damage to your opponent plus seven hundred more. So uh, you end up ahead in the long run, even though you had to spend life points to save your monster. Okay? Alright, now. Reset the field. Here we go. Again. Take all your cards. Set your seven tools, set your book of moon, bring your warrior back to your hand. Now, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Also, set your MST. My bad. What you can't do is you can't summon your your warrior monster. They play. Sorry, wrong one. They play their bottomless trap hole. Now, you can't chain your mystical space typhoon to the bottomless trap hole because remember it doesn't negate it only destroys so yeah you're destroying the card but it still happens because you're not negating it the only way you can negate it is if the card says so and which seven tools does if you read it it says uh, as I said before pay a thousand life points to negate the activation of a trap card and destroy it so yeah uh, don't get confused by negating and destroying two different things. Uh, I know it took myself a long time to understand that in the game. Like I couldn't understand why some things worked and some things didn't. It took me a little while to figure it out. But uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope it was useful. I know it's confusing, but if you stick with it, you will definitely get better. Uh, everybody does. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I might have a couple more scenarios. Not sure how many I have left, but I know I have at least maybe two or three more. So, hang in there.